Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I always try to make sure I get this camera right. Um, I hope you all can hear me. If this is you guys' first time tuning in, um, again, this channel is called Live Narc Free. It's all about inspiring and motivating you guys to live your best life. Um, to get free, to stay free, and to never, ever, ever go back to the narcissist. And um, for those of you, if this is your first time coming to my channel, today I'm actually doing a two-day giveaway for my audio course that came out entitled Seven Steps to Moving On from Narcissistic Abuse. So what you would do in order to get it is you will either leave your email on the comment box below um, on the message and um, I will send you the downloadable link the mp3 of my new audio I'm really really excited about it um, I was supposed to have I think I released it last year but um, some technical difficulties happened but it's back and my website is up again and I'm really excited about that um, I do have more announcements. I'm going to be coming out with a video course entitled Seven Steps, I'm sorry, Seven Signs to Identifying um, You're Dealing with a Narcissist. So, signs that you're dealing with a narcissist, because a lot of people always email me asking me if their person is a narcissist. Um, and that's actually going to be one of the titles of the video. But I'm going to be coming out with a video course on how to um, find out if you're dealing with it. It's going to be really nice. Um, be uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm also going to be coming out with a free ebook. Um, I'm sure you guys will like it. It's going to be downloadable for you guys. And I'm going to continue to give you guys free stuff because, again, like I said, I do this because I want to help as many people as I can um, get this knowledge. Um, I know times can be hard, but I want to share this with all of you. Um, but my audio course after tomorrow, um, it will be on sale for $37. So you could just go to the website. Um, purchase it and then um, again I will send you the link um, but today is free today and tomorrow it will be free I'm giving it away <laughs> so make sure you get your copy um, so yeah I'm really excited and also I'm gonna be doing a mastermind this is gonna be in the works a mastermind for those that are serious about moving on from narcissistic abuse um, it's gonna be for maybe about two to four individuals and myself and we will come together um, we will have a mastermind for maybe like a month and we will do um, different things and activities and different exercises and um, assignments weekly to make sure that we are getting on the path to moving forward, um, you know, away from narcissists and just to live a better, um, healthier and a more happier life, you know, after the abuse. Because trust me, you know, being in an abusive relationship is, it's rough, you know, and you you experience things that um, are very very hurtful you know and um, what I like to tell people you know hold on give me one second let me just readjust this just want to make sure I'm comfortable okay <laughs> don't be afraid you know if you went through um, a tragic situation don't be scared to like reach out to people you know because I mean I was one of those people where I was embarrassed and I would think people would judge me for it but at the end of the day it's not even about the person that is you know you're seeking the help from it's about you this is your life your recovery you the one that went through it you know you were the one that um experienced the abuse and you got discarded and you were humiliated in front of people and you were just left out in the cold you know so this is your life you have to recover from that you have to heal it's not an overnight thing and it's not healthy to jump into a new relationship. It's not healthy because you're still hurting, you know. So, um, like I said, that's why I'm here for you. Um, get my new audio course uh, for free today and tomorrow. And then after um, Monday, Tuesday, like I said, it's only on sale for $37. So go to the website, get your copy, listen to it. Um, tons of information, tons of content, tons of um, life experience, five years, I have been a, a coach for narcissistic abuse um, while I've been dealing with um, narcissists and like I said, now I'm coaching, well I've been technically coaching since, let's say, I want to say like 2016, so 16, 17, 18, I saw about three years I've been coaching, but I've been dealing with narcissists for over five years, so 
that's a little bit of background story about me make sure that you are um subscribed to my channel make sure you like this video and if you have any questions or comments about narcissistic abuse please leave them in the comment box all right um and if you want you can timestamp this because <laughs> i know someone else commented and they said that i talk a lot but anyway um that's what i'm here for <laughs> so uh <clears throat> excuse me so um this video this is going to be email i'm not going to reveal the person's name because i'm not sure if they want me to say who they are so i'm just going to read the email that me they sent me it was on um actually a couple days ago they said i stumbled across your video today i'm confused right now i'm not sure if my wife is a narc i i've watched a video well i'm sorry i watch a lot of video on youtube and read many stories online to the point where I'm starting to feel like I'm crazy. To the point where I'm thinking anyone with an attitude or someone who lives who lives bomb might be one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess my question would be, how would you know if someone is a narc without them being diagnosed as one? How much would it be would it be a one on one be with you? How much would a one on one be with you? Oh, and again, like I said, I do offer coaching sessions to those of you um, that would like to try a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I have a 30-minute session, 60-minute session, a 90-minute session. All of those um, sessions um, will be available on my website, so you can choose which one you want to do. Um, you know, it, like I, again, it's catered to you and your needs, and um, it would be me and you, one-on-one. -on -one. We could do it via Skype, via Google Hangouts, via Facebook, or via WhatsApp. All right, so um, be on the lookout for that. And again, like I said, my audio is out for free today and tomorrow. So that's so, I'm really excited about that because it's something I never really done before. But yeah, make sure you take advantage of that generous offer. <laughs> but um, okay. So to answer your question, um, how would one know if someone is a narc without them being diagnosed as one? Um, that's a beautiful question. Um. You know, there's a lot of ways, and this is actually going to be like a little spoiler uh, for my video course coming out. But, um, you know, a way in which you can tell that someone is a narcissist is just by their aura, their attitude. You know, um, are they boastful? Are they, you know, trying to be the center of attention? Do they have a, a superiority about them where they think that they're better? They have like a self-importance about them. Um, those are several examples. Another example could be, you know, if they don't accept responsibility for their actions, you know, there's no accountability on their end. Um, you know, they lack empathy. They lack, um, you know, the ability to love. Um, they are just very cold, cold-hearted. Um, you know, they think that they're right all the time. Um, you know, everyone, it's everyone else's fault, the reason why they're not where they want to be in their life, you know, and they feel entitled to you, your time, your attention, your love, your affection, and not just you, but any and everyone that they encounter, you know, especially if they feel like they could use you in some sort of way, use you, abuse you, and do all sorts of crazy stuff. So, um, yeah, hopefully uh, that helps, um, you know, and a lot of times, a lot of them don't get diagnosed, you know, because... You know, most of them, they don't think that there's anything wrong with them. They think it's you. It's never their fault. It's always everyone outside of themselves. Um, but yeah, they're, they will give you like little signs and little clues. Like you will be able to see like, you know, this person is not really, you know, kind and understanding or not necessarily mean that they had to be that way, but they're not. They don't have the ability to em em empathize with me or others and you know they are just very like standoffish and everything is all about them you know um to give you an example that that's kind of like my my aunt that was a narcissist that i lived with for five years i didn't realize that she was one until um i think it was after the first year that i was living with her the second year i noticed that she started and um, the female narcissists are totally different um, but in the same, they're still toxic, <laughs> you know, and still abusive, but, um, she was very competitive. She was jealous. Um, she always compared herself to me. Um, she was always trying to pretend like the new ideas that I had in mind weren't good. Um, very, uh, condescending for sure. Um, you know, cunning 
and she would try to like gang up on me and like bully me with her sisters which is which is crazy i know right? i know you guys are probably thinking like what but yeah she would try to gang up on me and bully me so like what she would do is like she would pretend like she wanted to hang out with me along with her sisters because i was like a lot you know like way way younger than her and then her sisters and then my cousin which they're like a lot older but um she would be like oh joy did you want to go and hang out with me and so and so you know and i'd be like yeah because i'm like okay you know she took me in and took care of me for the time being that i stayed there so I always had that connection with her but then as i she started to see that i was wanting to be my own person and be independent and that's the thing about female narcissists is they you know if they take care of you or even their children they want you to be dependent on them like as a as adults they want you to still be dependent you know so they could have that sense of control over your life and i didn't want that because i'm an independent thinker i I'll just all my dad even knows that about me like he knows that you know i don't want to be around him i want to be able to take care of myself and handle my business but again my aunt was a narcissist and she didn't really like grow me like i was around her when i turned 17 so but i i had grew up around her like as a child but i didn't really spend time with her like that but um she didn't know that i didn't need to be around her you know what i mean like all the time but anyway so we went to visit my other aunts and then we we went to their house and i just noticed like we would be having a conversation and then my other aunt she would say something to me that wasn't really as nice and I just I don't know the vibes just kind of changed a little bit and then I noticed like I would say something to my aunt and she would kind of like put it down or make it seem like it wasn't a good idea so kind of like you know putting me down for one making me feel bad and then you know ganging up on me you know because they would be like oh who's the youngest here and who's the oldest like say like little like petty stuff but long story short um I, she, when I was living with her she was abusing me but not only me but her husband and you know her son as well so that that was a very sad situation but again I'm happy that I'm away um and um you know I mean I wish her the best but I I definitely don't want any dealings with her you know and I, as I said in my past videos I mentioned the things that she has done and said to me and how it made me feel so um but yeah those are ways in which you can tell if someone is a narcissist hopefully this helps um again make sure you guys take advantage of my offer today and tomorrow my new audio course seven steps to moving on from narcissistic abuse is free email me at livenarcfree9 if you like to get a copy or you can leave your email below in the comment box and i will send it to you for free and be on the lookout for my new video course coming out actually this video is going to be like a little sneak peek <laughs> It's going to be called Five Signs to Know That You're Dealing With a Narcissist. And then, like I said, I have a free ebook coming out. Now, I'm also, I'm going to be giving you guys content, you know, on regarding narcissists as well as, um, you know, self-help, self-love, um, and rebuilding your confidence. So I'll be having ebooks about, like, narcissists, ebooks about, like, self-love blase blase things that could really help you guys you know in aiding in this whole process of um you know dealing with narcissistic abuse so yeah you guys um thank you so much for tuning in also if you'd like to try a coaching session you can email me as well at livenarcfree9 at gmail.com or you can just go on the website and you guys know i do the love tarot readings you can email me also and um yeah you guys uh make sure you're following me on instagram at livenarcfree and Facebook live narc free. See you guys in the next video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box and I will make a video about any question or any comment. Bye guys. Have a great day.